adventures. All right, today we're going to talk about our appliances, electronical stuff, and our inverters. So, our inverter. What about it? It's uh, it's actually built into the truck. It's underneath the bunk. Yay! As uh, 1800 watt continuous power in 2000 peak. So, you have one outlet on this side, one outlet on that side, already yep. pre-wired. So it's kind of like your outlets in your house. So it yeah. looks just like the same thing, and it makes it really convenient because you can use household appliances in your truck like this. Mm -hmm. We got this electric skillet at Walmart. You can also get this microwave at Walmart. Um, the electric skillet, uh, we can cook a lot of things in like omelets or uh, bacon, frying bacon, all kinds of things, right? Bacon. So um, bacon. this, I know, I we like bacon. bacon. We, um, this, this skillet, is 1200 watt mm -hmm. so it's totally doable so if you're buying appliances make sure you check that it's well beyond what your inverter will well, handle below yeah yeah i'm sorry well below um the inverter so that way when it's on and it's surging because it's using the temperature and it's warmer then you're not going to surge your inverter and burn up your inverter yeah it's bad news okay so this is 12 our inverter is 18 so it works really well. We've not had any problems with it. Mm -hmm. And then our microwave is 700 watt. And um, if you do the math, what's the 12, math? 12, 7, 1900, just a little too much. Yeah, too close to the bar. You cannot use these at the same time. I do not recommend it. It is not good for your inverter and it will do damage to your inverter. You don't so, want to replace one of those babies. Yeah, this is $20 and this is $50. That's I mean, probably three or four hundred. Yeah, so don't do that, okay? So that's these things. Our truck, we're also blessed to have a truck that has a built-in refrigerator. Mm -hmm. um, that is super wonderful. So we never have to depend on the power of the inverter um, to be handling a refrigerator or a cooler or any mm -hmm. of those things. So that is also super helpful. We are very lucky to have both of those built into our truck. I know a lot of you might not have that, okay? So I'm just letting you know we are and we do appreciate that. Some of you have also asked about our water and how we do our water. Okay, and you've probably seen that in our micro tiny house videos. So we have this five gallon jug and we have that pump that goes on it. So normally you just see this flipped upside down on a water thing and you can refill these at Walmart for $1.75. They are at Walmart where you can just refill it so you're not buying a new jug every time. You just go back there, you fill it up and it's Really and at Walmart, it. to buy the jug, I think, is $8, which is cheaper than some places if you can yeah. just buy it empty. Um, I think if you pay the deposit, it's like $16 or something. We just keep the jug, though. And then he bought this head pump for it um, at off Amazon. So there's two different kinds. There's the hand pump kind, and there's this. We tried the hand pump. Don't do, the, <laughs> don't do the hand pump. It is not worth it. Maybe if you're going on a hiking trip or a camping for a week, like that would be cool. It worked really but, well, except the straw that goes into the bottom of it kept falling down. When we'd hit bumps, it'd fall off. And it doesn't go all the way to the bottom like this one. So this for $13, I'm not complaining. Worth the money, anyway. yeah. So how it works is it has a little plug on the back and it used to plug into the wall, but I pulled it too hard, ripped the cord apart, and this guy saved the day. Um, so when we when that cord broke, we looked for another one that was close to the same amps, couldn't find one, so we went to Radio Shack and bought one that actually plugs up into the car charger. And for whatever reason, that one pumps much better at a yeah. faster rate than what the one you did you plug into the wall. Yeah, so. so all we have to do is push the red button and water just comes right out here like it's a faucet. So really mm -hmm. convenient. So we just have these three appliances and that's what we use um, plug in for our inverter uh, for the power source. Works really, really great. Makes life really convenient. We can eat, we can cook, we can do all of those things like we do at home. Yes, I do do some of the food prep at home. And if you want to know more about like our cooking or recipes or different things like that, how we use the kitchen, how it's set up, we do have other videos and check out Trucker's Kitchen, the playlist of that, and you will find recipes that we do. I'm going to give you one little tip at the end right here. If you're cooking bacon in the truck, because we like bacon, set your vent setting to the floor setting and set it on high blower. Crack your windows just a few inches and that will allow the 
bacon smokiness because every time you fry bacon it does smoke i don't care what you do maybe it's just me it always gets smoky in your truck okay smoky. so just crack the windows and put it on the floor vent and it helps a ton it clears it out okay mm, it so does. um yeah that's our appliances that's what we use and that's how we make life a little bit more convenient and help keep our thumbprint down on this earth so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. If you have any tips for us, comment below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe so that way you know when all of our new videos are coming out. And um, like us on Facebook and Instagram and enjoy the adventures. No, I'm not frumpy. She just talks a lot. <laughs> Bye. Bye.